just for added authenticity, I'm actually going to create the world in front of you. Now I'll be going in spectator mode, just to more easily show this. And I'll actually turn off the shaders, otherwise you can't see anything. It's a bit dark, but I hope you can see it just fine. Now the point here is, as you can see, even in game mode where we can see all the caves, regardless of where you are, although the surface spawning dragons are fairly common, as you can see here, the ones spawning underground aren't as plentiful. Actually from this angle it's even better since it puts the black background out of, out of the way. Now, since dragon dens are underground, you'd expect that, well, of course, you'd need to dig to find them. But taking this as a reference, like me in spectator mode, you're going to see that if you actually intend on digging to find them, it's going to take you a long time, since they don't seem to be particularly plentiful. Which, okay, I can understand. This makes it pretty much mandatory that in case you do intend on mining to actually find them, you need a very good pickaxe. Now, of course, you can just enchant a pickaxe like in a vanilla, but here we're in RL craft. So, rather than actually using an enchanted pickaxe, you're probably better off with a lycanite's pickaxe. Now, there's four types of lycanite's pickaxe. The most commonly used is iron paxel, which is simply a diamond tier pickaxe that can also chop wood, dig, and basically do everything all in one. So it's not really something that you need when you're looking for a dragon den. You'd need a specialized pickaxe. The specialized pickaxe pieces are three. The Junak Fist, which I believe is the worst out of the three pickaxes, and I do not suggest you to use it, simply mines 5x5x5 five by five by five blocks. It's a nice square, so it's fairly easy to use, but it's not something you need when you're looking for dragons. Next up is the Junak Spear. It's one of the most easy to use because it simply tunnels in a straight line up to 17 blocks. You think this is great for strip mining and so on, but it's not actually the best when you're looking for dragons. Because what you need when you're digging for dragons isn't to strip mine like you were for diamonds. Well, in theory, even if you're looking for diamonds, you'd be better off with other one. It's the Vapula Crystal. A Vapula Crystal mines in a very odd shape, kind of a cross. It mines to your sides and to the top. You only need the final piece, all other pieces are unnecessary, but since we're using an axe piece for the Vapula Crystal, we're actually going to need an axe head. Which one you use will have no effect on the type of mining radius, so at least in this regard you do not care about any of the other pieces, but if you do want to know the best combinations and simply know more about Lycanite's equipment and weapons, then you might be interested in this video. Now, back on track. Going back underground, in terms of what the best height level is, a dragon den varies in, in size from 25 to 30 blocks in height. So what does this mean? It means that if you're searching for a dragon den, ideally, I'd say the, the easiest way to do this is to simply mine the bedrock, <laughs> not through bedrock since you can't do that, and say this is bedrock level. Now considering that you can't actually know your height level, the easiest way to do this is to simply mine to the bottom. Now I'm not saying to mine straight down, although with equipment available in Railcraft you'd be perfectly fine even in doing so. But anyway, just dig till bedrock. And then mine 25 to 30 blocks up. I'd go more for 30, but that's your call. So let's say this is bedrock. I'm just going to go this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, I lost track because of that cave, but it doesn't really matter. So I'd say this is the ideal height level for starting to mine. Now, how do you actually use the Vapula Crystal? Now, this is what it does. As you can see, it's the perfect reconnaissance kind of pickaxe. It lets me see to my sides and to my top. It won't mine to the bottom, so if you're actually standing right on top of a, of a dragon nest, you won't actually be able to know that you're on it. So in terms of pickaxe, yes, this is probably the best for finding and doing recon. But there's a bonus that you can add to your arsenal to improve your odds. Very slight. And this is the Dragon Eye. The Dragon Eye, although mostly known for its combat capabilities, actually has a sensor as well. So simply enable the sensor to emeralds. Emeralds spawn plentifully around dragon nests. So by having it set on emeralds, if you are standing on top of a dragon nest that you may have missed, this detection system will find it for you. 
Now its range is only 10 blocks, this is why it's only kind of a bonus and not actually necessary. But as you can see, you can cover a fair decent amount of ground, okay, a fair decent amount of ground with a pickaxe, but you're still on foot. So it's not really ideal, and if we were to go back into spectator mode, see that considering how hard it is to actually find a nest, and yes, this is a very large radius considering vanilla strip mining as a reference, finding a dragon nest is still going to take a huge amount of time. Even if we're mining at the ideal height level, this is because since dragon nests are 25 to 30 blocks high, you're probably going to have one straight below you, which will be detected by the dragon eye, if not by you directly because you're parallel to it. And thanks to this additional blocks mined upwards, you have a margin of error, meaning that the space from here to the surface is generally not more than, or at least just slightly more than 30 blocks. So it's very rare for you to actually miss a dragon nest. Now this is when it comes to mining, which as I've said before, is fairly time consuming. Mostly because you have to do it on foot. So what am I actually suggesting? Now, dragon layers, due to their huge size, actually have the chance to spawn along the surface of the coastline. Well, I'm saying coastline as if it's only going to spawn there, but that's mostly because coastlines are at the exact height where you'd find a dragon nest parallel to it. This means that if you actually do find some other tile or area that is at the same height as a coastline, it would perfectly adhere to this logic. But since that's often hard to calculate, simply following a coastline is a lot easier to do. Dragon nests are extremely rarely scattered around the place. And if finding them underground is already difficult, finding one exactly in a coastline is going to be even more difficult. And that's perfectly understandable and you are in fact true. What, what the hell is the problem here with the Cyclopses? Anyway, the difference here is yes, you'd have higher chances of finding a dragon nest underground because you're using that space more efficiently, but you're forced to cover that ground extremely slowly because you have to mine the block and travel, traverse it on foot. You might even do it on a mount, but all in all, you're, you're still fairly limited and going on a mount, you might actually skip and miss some important details. See? Wow, this is beautiful. I actually didn't intend on finding one here during the explanation. I actually intended on like pasting in a clip from my survival series or something. But yeah, that's <laughs> even better. This just proves that if you're lucky enough, you can actually find it. So as you can see here, they spawn along the surface and obviously the dragon eye is pinging all the emeralds. Now this is a smaller den, I believe it's only 25 in height, but as you can see, they are visible from coastlines. Since you can cover so much more ground in the surface by flying around in a morok, jumping around with a vent raptor, your choice, but the morok has a better bird's eye view, so it's better. Simply fly along coastlines and there you have it, you find one. You simply cover ground so much faster compared to mining that even though the chances of finding one is basically lower, in terms of actual speed, you're a lot better off finding this way. Now, the actual winning factor, in my opinion, is what you're actually interested in. If you obviously explore along coastlines on the surface, as collateral, you'll be exploring biomes and, well, the structures that you find around it. And so I'm going to say that you should base the decision of either mining with a vampire crystal pickaxe or simply flying along coastlines with a mark to depend on are you interested in finding structures on the surface or are you interested in finding structures underground? Generally speaking, underground has a lot more obstacles. As you can see, the Vapli crystal gets stuck on like a, a, a vein of coal and so on. So it can get pretty annoying. And most caves underground are usually just dungeons. I'd say this concludes the topic. It's actually fairly simple. Simply explore along coastlines. And as a bonus, keep in mind that the dragons, this counts both for underground and on the surface, but they do not spawn in ocean biomes and in jungles. So just stay clear of them. Obviously it goes without saying that a shader is going to impair your vision. And if you're not using any shaders, disabling fog can also help. This is without fog, since fog blocks your line of sight after a certain distance.
If you're looking for frost dragons, it's a bit more tricky since they're restricted to, well, glacial biomes. But in most cases, you can still kind of find them along coastlines. But you're most likely in those cases better off digging because you're restricted by the amount of terrain that is plausible for them to spawn in. Meaning that you're better off using the small amount of space that you have access to more efficiently. So instead of needing to cover ground faster, you actually need to more efficiently use all the ground. I probably made it sound a lot more complicated than it need to be, but since most people online are going to tell you that you simply need to dig with a good pickaxe, if I go around saying a different opinion, then I'm going to need to actually give all the appropriate needed details to explain why I believe this is the case. So best of luck in finding your dragon egg, which is the main reason people go searching for stage 5 and 4 dragons. And if you found this kind useful, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching. Bye.